All right, now we're down to the better part. Let's proceed, my favorite preacher, by the words of Amen, Evangelist Shirley Murray. We're going to call your attention tonight to the book of Psalms, the 78th chapter, verses 12 through 19. Marvelous things did he uh -huh. in the sight of their fathers. Yes. In the land of Egypt, in the field of Zoan. Uh -huh. He divided the sea and caused them to pass through. Mm -hmm. And he made the waters to stand as a heap. Yes. In the daytime also, he led them with a cloud. Uh -huh. And all the night with a light of fire. Yes. He clave the rocks in the wilderness mm -hmm. and gave them drink as out of the great depth. Yes. He brought streams also out of the rock and caused waters to run down like rivers. Uh -huh. And they sinned yet more against him by provoking the Most High in the wilderness. Yes. And they tempted God in their, ha in their hearts by asking meat for their lust. Uh -huh. Yea, they spake against God. They said, Can God furnish a table in the wilderness? Amen. We thank the Lord tonight for the reading of his word. And our little thought tonight is coming out of the 19th verse. That says, and they spake against God. They said, can God furnish a table in the wilderness? And I have a little thought tonight is, God can. God can. You know, out of all the, God, the Lord had done, we see here in the word of God how God moved and how God blessed miraculously the children of Israel. But... It seemed to be that after a little while, they began to wonder about this God. The God that brought them out with a strong arm. The God that brought them through great trials and tribulations. And after God doing all that he had done and delivered them from Pharaoh and his army and all of these things, they turned around and had the audacity to ask a question, can God furnish a table in the wilderness? If God had done all of the things that he had done, which he, God did it, they should know that if God did it once, that God can do it again. But it's a funny thing about people. A lot of times you say, for instance, that when people get saved, a lot of times they, they be going on with God. They feel good in their soul and God is moving in their life. Then sometimes it seems like down the road somewhere, they begin to lose out with God. Amen. But, you know, God don't want nobody losing out. Glory to God. God wants us to pick up strength and gain strength. Praise God. And God don't want us to doubt him. Amen. He tells us not to be of a doubtful man. Amen. We have to keep our trust in the Lord. Some old patriot wrote a song and said, I will trust in the Lord. Amen. You know, sometimes the road gets rough and the going gets tough. Amen. But you must remember that God can. I say God can. Sometimes it looks to us that it's impossible. But God the, the lets us know in his word, uh, with man, things are impossible. But with God, all things. Did y'all hear what I said? All things are possible to them that believe. Amen. And God, it, it angered God. God's wrath was kept. Because the children of Israel began to doubt him. Amen. They committed one of the greatest sins. The sin of doubt when you see what God can do. And how God can bring you out. Did you know God is a way out of no way? I believe I have witnesses here tonight that can say with me that God can make a way. Out of no way. Hallelujah. God can open doors that's been shut in your face. Amen. And the devil declared he glued the door. And no man can open it. But I heard the word of God say, he said, I can open a door. And no man can shut it. Then God said, I can turn around and shut the door. And no man can open it.
can God. I'm telling you tonight, God can. If you believe him, put your trust in him, put your faith in him, God can. Amen. You know, praise God, a people is no different today than they were back in the days of old. History just turns over and over and over again. Amen. The church world today, praise God, is committing that sin. Can God do it? Have you forgot about when God made a way for you? Have you forgot when God worked the impossible? There are people here sitting in this audience tonight that God has worked the impossible. You know, we cannot let the enemy take away from us what God has done. Amen. Praise God. And as I before stated, if he can do it once, I believe with all of my heart, he can do it again. Amen. God wants us to keep the fire of the testimony and believe in God burning high in our soul. Amen. That, that, that's a terrible sin. Amen. To let doubt get in your heart and say, I can't go any further. Some people are going over the same, sometimes it's practically the same trial you've been through. And then some people put the brakes on. So I can't make it over this one. But if God brought you through the first one, God will take you through the second. And sometimes it seems like everything is a, against us. There's times in our lives that seem like our back is against the wall. And the wall is against our back. Oh, but if you trust God, hallelujah, and tell the Lord, I don't see it, Lord, but you just come on and intervene, take over. God will take over for you. That's the kind of God that we serve. Hallelujah, he loved to take over. Praise God. After God gave them water from a rock. Did you know that was something that was impossible? They was out in the wilderness, had no water to drink. But God gave them water out of a rock. Moses smoked the rock. And if water could come from nowhere, seemed like, I mean, just nowhere at all. And God, God said, Moses, smoke that rock. And water gushed out. If God could do that, he can do anything. God fed them bread. And you know, there's people tonight, I, I would dare say there's people in this audience tonight who say, I don't have any groceries at home. But did God feed them now? Did God do that? If God fed them, God will feed you. You know, you don't look and worry about your meal bag. All you need to know is that God is sitting in heaven. And that your heart is right with God. That you are living a life that's pleasing to the Lord. And you don't have to even worry about tomorrow. Some folks worrying about next year. But you don't have to worry about tomorrow. Somebody said it. I don't know what the future holds. But thank God I know who holds the future. Hallelujah, he sits high and he looks low. Hallelujah, glory to God. Got 10,000 blessings in his hand. All you have to do is just ask him. Jesus said if you ask in faith and doubting nothing. Now that's a big word, isn't it? Hallelujah, doubting nothing if you ask in faith. And don't doubt. Lord said you should have whatsoever that you would say. Amen. And this is the reason why. Never should we put a question mark where God put a period. Is that right? We should never put a question mark where God put a period. If God said it, that's it, period. No need to put a question mark there. And ask the question, can God? Because truly, God can. Hallelujah. All God wants is some vessels to work in. God will show himself strong among his people. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. What are you doing? When the enemy comes in as a flood, the word of God said that the spirit of the Lord would lift up a standard against him. Didn't the word say that? Well, but if people would learn to believe what God said, and don't go on your thoughts and your feelings and what you think about it. Hallelujah. Just stand on God's word. Hallelujah. All you have to do is get down that word. Get your scripture and stand on it. And wait for heaven and earth to pass away. I like that scripture. He said before one jot or one tip of my word shall fail. Heaven and earth shall pass away. Hallelujah. And sometimes you have to get on that word and say, Lord, I'm standing here. All right, heaven. All right, eh? Get to moving. Because God said he couldn't fail me. Hallelujah. That's the kind of God that we serve. Hallelujah. A God that cannot fail and will not fail. You know, praise God. I, I, I love this a portion of scripture that have been uh, just a refuge for me down through the years. God said, I'll never, the Lord said, I'll never leave you. I like that. Now I forsake you. He said, yeah, yes. I'm with you. You can take it personally. Even to the end of the world. And I said, if God be with me, he said he would. That's all I need to know. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Nothing else matters because if he said he'll do it, he'll do it. Glory to God. And sometimes you have to go back and read again and look at that scripture and think about it again. Sometimes when you're going through your trial, you get got to think about it. See, he said he'd never leave me. He said he'd never mistake it. Thank you, Jesus. And just start praising him for it. And I want you to know that God will do just what he said. All he wants us to do is just to believe him. God heard that doubtful question. And when you start to doubt in God, God is looking at you. He's looking at you. You know, never say, I can't make it through this one. Never even think about, I cannot make it through this one. Always think I can make it. God is looking for positive thinkers. Positive people. Somebody that will believe you can. You see, if you believe it, you can do it. You know, faith is something. I mean, it brings to pass things that you could never dream of. I mean, faith is, is just an anchor. Faith reaches out into the unseen and it gets a hold of that that you cannot see. It gets a hold to that thing that you desire. And it catches it and it pulls it. Somebody says, well, I don't see nothing, Sister Mark. You just believe it. You believe it. Because when it gets where you see it, it's not faith anymore. Amen. But it brings it, it, it holds on, reaches way out into the darkness and gets it. And old faith keep pulling it until one day you look at it and say, there it is. It became a reality because you was not all a doubtful man. Hallelujah. God is looking for strong people. Amen. God can. Oh, I wish tonight you could see what I'm talking about. God can. Did you know God can do anything? Anything. Amen. You say, well, my light bill is due. So what? God can pay it. He can pay it. Sometimes you, you get it out and they said, uh, uh, the, the credit. Credit is much. You don't even have to pay the bill. This is what I'm talking about. So what? God can do it. Amen. I don't care what happens. You know, sometimes, uh, uh, you get all bungled up and, and just turn around and things is coming at you from ever which way. Seems like sometimes the heaven is bright. Seems like you're not even getting through. You ever been there? Seems like you're not getting through, but you are getting through. God has to know who you trusted. He said, I'm the beginning. I started this thing. And I'm the end. 
I'm Alpha and I'm Omega. Then he says so. Do you know we are serving an omnipresent God? Amen. Omnipotent. Almighty from everlasting to everlasting. That's the God that we're serving. We're serving a God, glory to God, that there is nothing that's too hard for him. Somebody said, Sister Mary, you don't know what I'm going through. Don't worry about it. Do you know what? If we would learn to take God at his word and don't worry about nothing. Don't worry about it. You know, a lot of people, they do more worrying than they do praying. But it's better to do more praying than less worry. It's better on your health. Is that right? Amen. But praise God, learn to take your burdens to the Lord and lead them back. Don't take them to God and bundle them up and bring them back. Some, some people say, oh, these are too heavy for me. Take them, God. And when they get, when they get up there, look like they say, God, hand them back to me. I can care. them. But you take your burden to the Lord and lead them back. Knowing that one thing, you have put them in good hands. You have put those burdens in good hands. Jesus, the word of God tells us, cast in all of your care. Everything upon me, for I care for you. God can. Amen. God can. Even though the people doubted God, but God continued to be good to them. God is a good God. God is a merciful God. Amen. Praise God. But the Lord don't want us to get in that state. Amen. He, he provided clothing and shoes which lasted for 40 years. And you tell me God can't give you some clothes? You tell me that God can't give you food? Amen. You tell me God cannot give you a roof over your head? God can do anything. If God prepared a shoe that would last for 40 years, God can do anything. Amen. And praise God, just think, as the little children grew from babies, say for a year old on, for 40 years, and they wore the same shoe. And God let that shoe stretch with the foot. That's, that's a mighty God. Amen. That lets us know one thing. God is concerned about every one of us. God is concerned about everybody's need. But it's so beautiful to go to God. I said, Lord, if it's something, if you don't have uh, food, water, sometimes people say, look, there's nothing in this refrigerator but water. Thank God for that. Knowing the rest is coming on. Amen. God haven't made a mouth that he cannot feed. Amen. He, not one mouth that he made that he cannot feed. He said, I got a cat on a thousand years. He said, if I was hungry, God said, I wouldn't tell you. So I don't have to tell you nothing because everything belongs to me. God can. Somebody said, well, I, I need meat. God gave, gave the children of Israel, these same children of Israel, he gave them meat. Didn't he do so? He gave them quality. If God could do it for them, God can do it for you. Amen. Praise God. God worked many miracles. Signs and wonders among his people. And what God have done this among his people. God have done many signs, wonders, and miracles. God have done so many miracles, praise God, among his people from down through the time. So you know a lot of times people get immune. They say, oh, it's just another miracle. And we see God do that all the time. But we need to magnify God and praise God for what God has done. Of what God is doing. Amen. Do you know every time we see the handwork of God. Because that's God. Do you know that's God Almighty. When God steps down in the midst of his people with signs, wonders, and miracles. Praise God. We ought to be on our feet praising God. Amen. Because we are serving a God that can. A God that can open the eyes of the blind and is doing it. A God that uh, can unloose deaf tongues.
praise God, and, and I mean, Dom Tom, and a God that opened their deaf ears. God can do anything. That's the kind of God we're serving. You know, I'm proud tonight to be serving the truth and the living God. I'm happy about it. Amen. Every day of my life, I praise God. Hallelujah. That God chose me to put in his kingdom and the kingdom of God to praise and magnify his name. God is good to his people. But God wants his people to be strong and believe him. Amen. Watch the salvation of the Lord. Amen. Learn how to pray. Learn how to pray. Learn how to intercede in prayer. And, and pray until you know that you have got in touch with God. Isn't that beautiful? It's a beautiful thing to set you aside a place to pray. Amen. Praise God. It, it, it's so beautiful to get alone and talk with God every day. Amen. When you do it like this and you, you talk with God, I mean, you realize, you get strength from God and you realize that God can do anything. Amen. You will know that the more you talk to God and the more you communicate with God, the stronger you are in God. I want you to know that God can. Can God give you shoes without a shoe shop? Answer me. Can he do it? Can he give you clothes without a clover? He don't have to have no clothing store. Amen. Can he give you water without a faucet? Can God? God can. Hallelujah. Can he give you all without an oil well? God can. Can he give you money without a bank? God can. Hallelujah. Can he cross deep water without a boat? God can do it. Can could he lead the children of Israel? Hallelujah. Across the Red Sea without a bridge. God can. I'm telling you tonight, God can do anything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can he enter a room without a door or window? Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Can God sweeten better water without sugar? Can he do it? Hallelujah! Can God make a living army out of a valley of dry bones? Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah! I'm telling you, we serve a God can do anything. When all these go down in the valley with the dry bones, God said, He said, God, can these bones live? And He said, Lord God, I know it. And God said, Prophesy to these bones. Oh, He said, I prophesy as God told me to do. My God, He said, All at once I saw something. The bones begin to get together to their bones. Hallelujah! My God, He said, I looked, and the toe bone began to connect with the foot bone, and the foot bone with the ankle bone, and the ankle bone with the leg bone. Hallelujah! And the leg bone with the knee bone, and the knee bone with the thigh bone. the thigh bone with the backbone. My God, hallelujah. And God, he saw them bones connected up. And he said, my God said, look at here. I see something. I see a whole army of the host of Israel. Hallelujah. Can God do it? Hallelujah. We are serving a God that can do everything. My, my, my. Can God cause you to speak in a language that you never did learn before? Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus! I'm telling you tonight that God can. My God, when the Holy Ghost come in, oh, on the day of Pentecost, they never had seen this happen before. My God, the Bible said, glory to God, it came in. As 
a mighty rushing wind and it filled all the house where they were sitting. You see, they were sitting there waiting on the promise of God because the Lord said, I'm going to send it back. He said, I'm going away, but I'm going to send it back to you. Hallelujah. And they waited patiently. My God, and all at once, as they were sitting in that place, glory to God, they felt something and they heard something come in and it hit that building. Hallelujah. They heard and wind. Come on in the house. And the Bible said it sit on each of them. And they all began to speak in tongues. And the Spirit of God gave them utterance. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. My, my, my. They began to speak in a language that they hadn't formally learned. This is what God can do. Hallelujah. Just think about it. When the Holy Ghost came all at once, this thing began to happen, and they was talking. One didn't know what the other was saying. Hallelujah! Thank you, Jesus. And I seen them. They begin to said, "My God, I'm drunk." Somebody said, "Well," said, "I'm just drunk." Said, "Well, what you been drinking, man?" Hallelujah! Well, listen, he said, "I've been drinking a new wine because that old wine make you cuss your mama." your wife's side of the head. Kick the dog. Curse out your neighbor. That's what that old wine do. But this new wine, it'll make you praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. I see it on Peter. I said, Lord, let me get out of here. I said, this room is too little for me. Let me get on out here on the street. And he began to get out and he began to stack down Jerusalem Street. I could see him. They said, what's the matter with Peter? I never saw him drunk like that before. Hallelujah. Somebody began to require. Said, these men are drunk. But Peter said, these men are not drunk as you suppose. He didn't say they wasn't drunk. But they're not drunk as you suppose. They drunk with the Spirit of God. The Spirit of God is upon them. Hallelujah, that Holy Ghost. That Holy Ghost. Yeah, Lord. Hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. They began to stand. Peter said, this is that. That was spoken by the prophet Joel. In the last days of God, I'm going to pour out my Spirit upon all flesh. Your sons, your daughters shall prophesy. Your old men shall dream dreams. Your young men shall see visions. I said, can God? Can God? Can God? I said, God can. God can. He can do anything. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. They came out in power. And in the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, what a day. My, my, my. I imagine somebody was sitting around. Looking, said, look here. Said, Jesus told them to go to Jerusalem. Haven't nothing happened yet. Said, them crazy fanatics. Locked up in the house with a prayer meeting. Said, you can hear them groaning. Lord, send it. Lord. waiting on it. We're waiting on it. But all at once, when he came, they went out on Jerusalem Street praising and magnifying God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I said, God can. He can do it. All God wants is somebody to believe him and trust in him. Just believe what he said. Look for it. Look for it. Somebody said, Sister Mary, I've been going through this trial a long time. Why don't you believe God? Why don't you believe God? So, Lord, this is the end of this thing. Because I know that you can. You know, God leaves it up to us. God leaves it up to us. You know, we have power. 
sometimes to cut some of these things off. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, they're coming. The trial may have come, but God have given us power to cut some of these things off and head them off. Once you step out, step out in faith and believe God and claim what's yours. Don't be like the children of Israel questioning God. Why do I have to go through this trial, God? Why you let this come up on me? How come this and how come that? You don't ask God how come nothing. Just give me the grace, Lord. That's all we need. Just ask God to give you the grace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. My God, my God. Because God won't let nothing come upon us that we are not able to bear. Everything that God let come your way, you are able to bear it. Everyone stand in place. Thank you, Jesus. While we stand tonight, while every eye is closed and every heart is lifted toward heaven, hallelujah. We want you that don't know God tonight to step out in the middle aisle, in the nearest aisle to you, and come down and let us pray with you. And believe God with you tonight that God would save your soul. Yes, God is a savior. Yes, God is a deliverer. God can. God can deliver you from every one of your sins. Hallelujah. God can bring you out of your sins tonight. God will clean you up from all sin and shame. God can place a new heart in you tonight. God can. I want you to know tonight that God can. See, God can save you to the very utmost. He can save you from the guttermost to the uttermost. That's the kind of God that we serve. Hallelujah. He's King of kings. And he's Lord of lords. God is speaking tonight to somebody else. We want you to come down tonight. Let us pray with you. And believe God with you tonight that God would save your soul. I feel God speaking tonight. Saints of God pray. I feel God speaking to someone else here tonight. God want to save you. You need to start over your life tonight. Somebody went too far, too fast. But you can start over tonight. Let God save you. Let God deliver you. But let God set you free tonight. You need freedom in Christ Jesus. The wedges of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. And it's yours tonight for the asking. If you ask God tonight, God will do it. Oh yes, God will save you tonight. Come on, God is speaking tonight. He's speaking to somebody else tonight. The Lord want to deliver you and set you free. You that's sick, afflicted, or you, you need a blessing or something from God, get in the center section tonight. Praise God.